Happy Sunday, you guys. So we are about to decorate our tree. It's right behind us. We went with a fake tree this year. Typical Sunday things. We're gonna go food shopping in a little bit, clean up the house. Um, my in-laws are coming to town this week. So we're gonna get ready for that. And yeah, just gonna relax. And I hope you guys are having a great day so far. <laughs> nah. Nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and now we're gonna make, or I'm gonna make some puppy chow. I've never made this growing up. Is there like another way to say puppy chow? What's Probably the. I feel like Chex Mix has like that Muddy Buddies. Is that the same thing? Anyway, so I'm sure you guys see it at the store all the time, but I guess there's a homemade version called Puppy Chow. I'm gonna make it with peanut butter and chocolate and we're gonna see how it goes. Puppy chow success. This is so good. Highly addictive, if you ask me. Or Cameron. Or Cameron. Yeah, we gave Cameron some too. <laughs> Happy Monday, you guys. So did some major cleaning this morning. My in-laws are coming tomorrow and I really wanted to get the house sorted before they arrive. We'll still have to shower and get myself together today. But before I do that, I wanted to show you really quick. Hubby and I actually got some new sheets for our bed and they arrived today. So I'm super excited and wanted to show you guys. Thank you, Cameron. Okay, so this is a brand called Bull and Branch. If I'm saying that wrong, please correct me. They have the cutest packaging. It comes in this box. I think on Friday they had a Black Friday deal, so we took advantage of it. I'm super excited to open this. Cam, really? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's open this up. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, I think these are the sheets. They are feeling super soft already. Here. Okay, you guys, these are definitely super, super soft. I'm gonna have to wash them before we use them, but oh my gosh, these feel so good. Not gonna lie, this is like our first time having really nice sheets. So yeah, I'm super excited about these. We also got a matching duvet cover that you'll see at the bottom right here, but Oh my gosh, I'm loving these already. 100% organic cotton, and with each wash, it gets softer and softer. I am so excited. I'm gonna wash and dry the sheets and get that all set up. I am so happy with how it looks. It looks so peaceful and serene. We still need a headboard, so if you have any recommendations for a good headboard, let me know. Okay, so I have to say, washing dishes is so much easier when you have rubber gloves, especially ones that fit your small hands. <laughs> Roar. Roar, is that a tiger? Roar. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. <laughs> is that a train? My in-laws should be arriving any minute now, so we're just getting the house all sorted. Cam's eating lunch before they get here. I forgot to mention, I have a new swell bottle. For those who know me, know how much I love swell bottles. I've had this one for, gosh, a few years now, and I loved it. Served me well, as you can see, with all like the dents on it. But thought it was time to get a new one. So I went ahead and got this marble one, which I'm super, well it's not real marble, but the design is, and I love it so much. I love that it has a wider mouth, so I can put ice in it. That was the only thing about this, the skinnier one. I know, it, you can't really put ice in it. I always have to start off with start out with cold water in order to keep it cold in here, but now I can just put ice in it. I'm really serious about my cold water, you guys. Uh, you can ask the hubby. All right, I made chocolate pot -au creme for dessert tonight. I'm just hoping they set. It's my first time making it, so. Wish me luck. Okay, so 
I am just feeling super recharged. I was at a coffee shop in town for a few hours and I just got a bunch of stuff done. I edited my video for Friday, or at least most of it, so I just have a few things left before my Friday upload, so be sure to look out for that. Also stopped by Sephora beforehand and tried out a new foundation. I tried the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation and I'm loving it. I know I was loving the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, but just wanted to try something different. So I'm really loving it so far and actually picked up a full size bottle. So I'll keep you posted on that. Now I'm just about to head home, see what everyone's up to, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hey guys, happy Friday. I didn't really vlog yesterday. Well, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, so sorry about that. I decided to give myself a break, and honestly, we didn't really do much except get flu shots. So, not the most exciting day. We do have a Christmas party to go to tonight. It's just a cocktail party. So I thought I'd get ready with you guys for a little bit um, before Kim wakes up. The party isn't for like another six hours, but I like to get ready early in the day when there's good natural light happening. I'm sitting in front of a window, which is what I like to do. So, anyway, got myself a new beauty blender. Also recently picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Instant <laughs> Soft Focus Beauty Flash Wonder Glow. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. I hear amazing things, so I wanted to test it out in front of you guys. I put the first day beauty on, but I kind of wanted to mix the two. Hopefully it works out okay. I like the consistency. Oh, I like this. Wow. It definitely gives you a very subtle glow. Oh, I like it. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I'm all into trying new products. So, I picked up the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I don't know if you can see this. So, I love a glowy foundation, as you know, and I don't think I've ever bought a matte foundation um, or even like a natural finish. I just like anything glowy for as long as I can remember. So, I tried this on at Sephora. I, I wanted to see how it would wear like when I applied it. But I love that it has a pump. My other favorite is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, but what I don't love about that is that you it doesn't come with the pump unless you purchase the pump separately, which I feel like defeats the whole purpose. The coverage should be sheer to medium coverage, which I like. I think Cam's starting to wake up. I gotta go quick. Hmm, nice. She's doing She is? <laughs> um, at least five minutes. <laughs> Just to remind you guys, I'm hosting that giveaway for GG Pip. So it ends tonight. I'm not sure. I think I plan on doing like a Facebook Live and an Instagram Live just to remind you guys. This video is going to come out um, after the giveaway ends. But yeah, I'll definitely remind you guys. I'm super excited to give away a hat. I love their hats. I have like, obviously you know, I have three or four of them. So I'm happy to give one away. So generous of Gigi Pip to even do that. I wanted to show you really quick. I got a new nude lipstick. I finally found a lipstick that is actually nude, doesn't wash me out, looks good on me. Uh, I remember sharing with you guys the NYX Butter Gloss and Tiramisu, and that's a great nude gloss for me. As far as a matte lipstick, the MAC Matte Velvet Teddy is the perfect shade for me. I'm obsessed with it. Love it. I'm gonna put bronzer on upstairs, but it's perfect. Okay guys, we are on our way to the Christmas party. I am wearing the same black sweater from last week, but this time I paired it with my uh, old J. Crew black and white striped skirt and my ankle boots. So pretty similar, but 
Thought I'd dress it up a little bit. I'm also gonna be wearing my Burberry coat. I love this so much. Yay, on our way. <laughs> 